This is an aquaponics update on the 23rd of February 2012. Um, so far, this is our IBC aquaponics system, first system, which we've cut the top off it. 800 litres of water in the bottom, buried. So hopefully, it will stop the system from freezing in winter and overheating in summer. We won't know until we try it. Um, the top half then we put growing media into it. Um, this is full of water, so we had to fill it with water for the first two weeks and then we put some goldfish in there. Um, we've got three losses out of ten goldfish in the cycling process. We then added uh, about 15 to 20 trout. And um, as you can see, they're, they're quite um, still at the moment because the water is still very cool. Uh, the system is cycling at the moment, you can see the water rising. I'll take you through how the system cycles. The water is pumped up first to a cyclone filter, which is very simple, easy to make at home. Basically, it circles around like water in a toilet. And um, the heaviest stuff settles at the bottom. This is only in about a week, so there's an awful lot of stuff settled in it. Um, and then it goes from there, it's all gravity after that. It feeds over to this unit here with sponge filters in it. The water then gravity feeds through that. It takes all the solid material out of it and helps with the biological breakdown. It then flows in the white pipe down into the NFT channel where there's some salads, lettuces growing at the moment. And it flows from there, all using gravity, down into this vertical channel, down back into the main grow bed. There's some strawberry plants in here. There's some strawberry plants in here. Spring onions, more strawberry plants. These are in now about a month in the system. We've had no losses, plant losses, uh, and they're all going very well. The rocket has gone to flower. Uh, even these strawberries have flowers coming out in them. You can see the strawberries, flowers coming out in them. Even though there isn't, the fish are very small, there isn't, from what we can see, isn't a huge amount of nutrients in the water. But the system cycles very well. When the water flows in here, you want the system to fill. This is flood and drain. You want the system to fill below the surface and you want it to flood as fast as possible using a bell siphon. Um, these are just emergency overflows in case something goes wrong. A lot of the piping that you see um, behind the vertical tower and a lot of the piping up here is emergency overflows. They're not in use, they're in case something along the way gets blocked. Um, the pump is in the <coughs> is submersed, plus there's a UV filter that was just fitted last week just to clear up the water. As you can see the water is kind of murky, that's algae. So we'll try and clear that up. We try and feed the fish natural food. So with some chopped up worms. So if we drop in some chopped up worms, we we'll see the fish coming and feeding on the chopped up worms. Again, there's a lot of algae and growth and that in there, so they're not, they always have food. They're fed pretty regularly as well. They're small. These are just garden worms. About 15 to 20 trout, there's seven goldfish, and there's two really small fish in there that I, I think we think are perch. I'm not quite sure what they are. They all seem to get along really well. Um, they're fed well. We do regular water changes as the system is new. We do regular water changes as we don't want the system to get high levels of ammonia for the start. And uh, everybody seems to be pretty happy. We're waiting for the temperature to rise, really, for the system to cycle properly. As the colder the water is, the slower the bacteria is breaking down everything. 
as you can see the water here. So this, this water has gone through the whole process of going through the vortex filter to take the biggest particles out. Has gone through the sponge media in the white tub behind it. And has gone through the NFT channel and this vertical channel. And once it's gone through this whole lot here, it will flood straight down into the fish tank. This is our senior engineer for the whole system. Senior engineer and troublemaker. And that's the update.